Dear viewers, a few days ago, one of my friends started his business. However, a few days later, his business got crushed and he concluded that he shouldn't start his business, hence it was too risky. Now my friend is biased with outcome bias and that is exactly the topic of today's video. Dear viewers, you are watching Lays But Better and I am Pritam Raha and this is the 14th episode of the book review of The Art of Thinking Clearly and today I'll be describing outcome bias, why we shouldn't judge a decision based on its outcome. So without further ado, get the ball rolling. So dear viewers, at first let me tell you that what does it mean by outcome bias? Outcome bias occurs when you tend to judge a decision only based on its output rather than on the decision process. So when you judge a decision only based on its output, it's called output bias. Because when you take a decision, we have to complete a course of actions. And as soon as we start our courses of actions, there can be a lot of external factors or randomness that can actually influence our course of actions and that can lead to a wrong output or bad output. But this doesn't necessarily mean that we took a bad decision. And hence, we should not judge a decision based on its output because, because there are a lot of factors that can interrupt our process. Hence, we can come up with a bad output. Our decision may be not bad. So, a bad decision doesn't necessarily mean that we started with a bad decision and vice versa. Meaning, a good output doesn't necessarily mean that we took a good decision. So, for an example, if we decide we are going to start a business, then we have to follow some process or steps. And they are the first solution that you are intending to offer to the customers. Then you have to complete your marketing activities, financing activities, accounting activities. You have to maintain your supply chain and you have to acquire your customer and you have to build a long-term relationship with the customer. So these are the actual process. But any of the process gets interrupted, then your output might be not as per your expectation. So your outcome may be a bad outcome. But you should not say that your business, your decision was wrong, you shouldn't start this business. Your decision was not wrong. Maybe your process was wrong. Maybe you mess up with some of the steps that you carried forward. And that is why your outcome is wrong. There is nothing to do with your decision. So just a decision only based on its output because, because there are a lot of factors that can actually interrupt your process resulting in your bad decision. So instead of tearing your hair out for a wrong decision or applying yourself for a good decision that may only coincidentally lead to your success. Remember why you chose what you did. Were your reasons rational and understandable? And if it was understandable and reasonable, then you would do well to stick to the idea even if you don't strike yourself lucky at that time. So, whenever you complete that courses of action, instead of focusing your output, try to analyze the steps you carried forward. Try to analyze each of the steps, whether you make any mistake. If you do, try to pinpoint your mistakes and try to rectify it. Make sure that you won't repeat the mistake future. So whenever you have a bad output or wrong output, don't blame yourself or don't blame your decision. Rather analyze the steps or process or other factors that may influence your decision, that may influence your process so that you have a better perspective for the future. So dear viewers, my objective is to make you aware about the biases and the more aware you will be about the biases, the more likely that your life will be smooth and you will have to handle less hassles in your day to day life, your life standard will be improved. So dear viewers, this is the today's video. If you like this video, you can hit the like button and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please 
subscribe to my channel and if you have any suggestion for me you can put your comment below in the comment box see you in the next episode till then goodbye